All right, we're here with Bryce Hazard, formingly of Bloomingdale. We're ready, bro. We are ready here. We are not running out of the way. And Bryce, I remember when you played for what was it? Was it Fishhawk? What was that team you played for? It was with it was Red? You played with like Chase Latchford and Justin Wallace. The R Tampa Red Rage. Was it Red Rage? No, it was a different team name. This is way back. Nine. This is like nine and under. Ah, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. <laughs> but a, a damn good career for you. It's funny I say that because I saw the latch for Jesse, and we were all like, "Yeah, Bryce has it, man. I'll yeah, see yeah, him yeah. tomorrow." Yeah. Uh, just you know, you've been playing ball uh, for a long time, man. You're one of the better players in the travel scene for many, many years. Uh, you guys had a heck of a year at Bloomingdale. I know yeah. it didn't yeah. go as long as you like, but just take me through yeah. your four four year career there, man. And what it means to you, man. I mean. Just to be able to start all four years yeah. at the varsity level was something special, no, let me not, tell you. That's, there's a small percentage of, especially in Hillsborough County. It's one thing if you're oh, yeah. here in a place that's not a big baseball hotbed, but you're yeah. in Hillsborough County and at a good school, too. It's, it's not like it was a school where you're only winning three or four games a year. So exactly. if you had any kind of exactly. talent, you'd be starting. I mean, Bloomingdale's yeah. a good school. So, yeah. yeah, man, you should be very proud of yourself. Thank you. So, I mean, what's your biggest takeaway from not just this year but your entire career? My biggest takeaway, I would say, is probably play every game like it's your last. I mean, yeah. I it didn't really hit me until probably a week ago that I was really done with high school baseball. Yeah, and that like was heartbreaking. You know, you make friendships that will probably last a lifetime, and it's sad to see that you won't go, you won't play with those group of guys ever again. Yeah, so I would say that's the thing that I took to heart. How cool is it to be here? You're on a major league field. You're playing Trop County Field just hours after the race in Twins, uh, and you get to start in right field, man. How cool is that? Man, that's, it's unreal. It's like what it, what it would feel like to play in this stadium one day yeah. at the pro level. But it's a that's a goal in life, but, you know, it's hard to accomplish. But Hey, why not, your man? standards high, right? That's right. I always say shoot for the moon, and the worst thing is you fall from the stars. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. All right, so what's the next step? A lot of people want to know. Uh, you know, people have been following you, and we were talking about it a lot, about where players are going to be at the next level. What's the next step for Bryce Hauser? So, where can everybody watch it? Well, I'll be attending uh, Nova Southeastern University nice, in the fall. So begin, I'll start there August 14th. What about during the summer? You have any? What's, how do you make sure that you don't overdo it? But how do you make sure that you're ready so that when everything ramps up in August that you're ready to go? Well, you know, I got a good buddy already at uh, Nova Southeastern, okay. Nate Chevalier. Um, oh, okay, yeah. All right. So he told me it's a grind down there, man. I mean, you're playing every day, practicing every day. So I kind of told myself that I didn't want to get burned out before I got down there. So yeah. I thought I was going to take this whole summer off, you know, and just regroup, uh, go have fun and be a kid. Yeah, good. One last time, you know. Might as well. And just enjoy the little things, you know. Heck yeah, man. You live in Florida. Go to the beach once exactly, or twice. Exactly. Especially exactly. with uh, some nice looking women. You could do that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bryce, it's been a pleasure watching you since you were a little, little kid. You were a lefty that had a ton of skill and uh, really happy to see you do well in your high school career. And I expect nothing but big things from you. Thank you. Appreciate uh, it. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it.